Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video we are comparing Node.js and PHP and we are not comparing about the pros and cons of each rather we have specific points on which we want to give certain stars and rating to each of these stack. Now I will be comparing based on variety of things like release dates, popularity, project scope, what is the current job market and future scope which I personally think about Node.js and PHP. But before we move on further that it should be noted it is highly dependent on the project and what work you are doing on the Node.js or PHP. I will also discuss that in a further uh, later on in this video but just to give you a simple very simplistic example let's just say I have a product and I want to design a landing page on that product. I would never use Node.js for designing such a small landing page with just a contact form. Node.js is like a very big tool to design such kind of a simple simple thing here. So in this case PHP or maybe other services could be a right use. On the other hand if my product is a little bit more complex and I don't I know what exactly I'm doing about that maybe video streaming subscription service and a whole lot of that I would prefer probably Node.js or I will think about what more stacks I can explore. So this is going to be the whole video about Node.js versus PHP on some specific points which will help you to understand and picking up right stack and in the right order. So let's get started and talk about Node.js and PHP after this intro. I am pretty sure that you have read some of the comparison between Node.js and PHP in the past and there is absolutely a guarantee that there is one point which always comes up which is using the CPU resources more efficiently. Now yes, I do agree that Node.js, some of these architecture lags in utilizing the CPU architecture and CPU resources properly. And some of the examples that I've seen online say is that if I want to do something like image processing, this Node.js is not an ideal thing because it doesn't use the CPU intensive things quite nicely. But my point is neither PHP is also good for using such kind of thing for image processing. Definitely there are better stacks or maybe better APIs that I can use for using and doing these kinds of very intense work which uses a lot of CPU work. So we will not be comparing our entire things based on CPU resources, pros and cons, rather I would like to compare Node.js and PHP on some of the points and criteria that I think are best and we'll be evaluating both of them based on that. So let's get started. So just like always, let the match begin and of course there might be a match in the comment section as well for designing the pros and cons of a Node.js and PHP. But without any further ado, let's get started. On the left hand side we have got the legendary Node.js. It would not be good to call it legendary because it's fairly new so let's call it as a new contender node.js and the legendary old school php on the right hand side so we're going to be making a comparison based on that now as you know me i always like to put up one uh, criteria here which is a release date now here is the point a lot of you might be thinking hey there is a clear-cut winner here which is php because the release date was pretty much earlier in the php almost since we have known the web, while Node.js is a fairly new competitor. But there is a twist here. I would not give my star easily to PHP in this case, rather I would like to put my star on Node.js. What I have felt over working with both the languages and both the uh, kind of a framework stacks, I have realized that Node.js is far more easier in the release date and they are taking full advantage of the release date. Since they came up a little bit late, their server client architecture is much more nicer as well as some of the support like AWS Lambdas and some of the Google Console is nicely integrated with Node.js. Definitely it can be done in the PHP but it's much more trickier and I enjoyed working on the Node.js and I enjoyed every single thing in here. Especially the AWS support is just killing in the Node.js so that's why the release date although they came up late but they are taking full advantage of coming up late and giving us all the things that were missing in the previous one so that's why the release date star goes to node.js next up is going to be the community now although the community support for both of them are pretty amazing we have a huge number of people working in node.js as well as php but in this case my star will go for the community on the php now there is a reason behind that 
Now, although there are a lot of things and in fact, almost everything that you can search on GitHub and can find it on the Node.js, but still the web is totally full of the code and architectures and whatever you need actually in the PHP can be found on the web and definitely you can modify it, you can adjust it and can use in your application. And that's why my star is going on the PHP. The world is definitely, or rather it would be accurate to say the internet is totally full of articles, blogs about PHP and step-by-step -step tutorials and everything. In fact, there are so many answers already being answered, uh, so many questions already being answered on the PHP that definitely I cannot give star to Node.js here. Definitely community is not shorter on this side as well, but since being so much of the presence on the internet, I have to give the star to PHP here. Next and very, very big thing is the product. So what product you are designing or what product you are creating is going to be the heavy factor of choosing the stack for Node.js or the PHP. And just like I previously mentioned, it all depends on what kind of product you are designing. For example, if I have to create a simple blog page where my goal is that I will hire a team of five or six person who are going to write a tech blog on that, I would never go for Node.js architecture. Surely I can design my customized blogs and platforms and user privileges and all of these things in Node.js, but why to reinvent the wheel when already such frameworks are dominant and are very popular and very stable as well in the PHP. On the other hand, if I had to design a product which is gonna take advantage of the APIs on every scale, and I want to create a product in which I will be throwing API on the web, on Android and iOS, I would rather choose Node.js on that product because Definitely it can be done in the PHP, but it is much more fun and much more uh, less complex to do that in the, in the Node.js. So I would rather go for Node.js. So giving a star based on product that what product you are designing to Node.js or PHP is not an accurate thing. I would not give a star to any of them, but still I would say just decide, sit down and decide what is your product and what people say about this product about in the market, whether you should go for PHP or Node.js. It should never be a decision about, hey, I love PHP, I'm gonna do everything in PHP. This should never be the case. So sit back, design, decide what is going to be your product, what should be the future of your product, how much scalability you are gonna be having. Now with this, I would like to also break a myth here that a lot of people think that PHP and MySQL is ultimate combination and Node.js and Mongo is an ultimate combination. Yes, it is, but it doesn't mean that you cannot work with, with Node.js and MySQL and PHP and MongoDB. A database is just a totally separate thing and most of the popular database have a good support for Node.js and PHP. This means you can use MySQL with Node.js and PHP as well and you can use MongoDB with Node.js and PHP as well. So this is not a good criteria to judge anybody. Since we are talking about the product, the next criteria I would like to pick up is going to be the production. Now moving a project from the local host to actual production, I'm talking about the learning curve of that and how much does it take uh, to move your project from local host to actual production where people can use it. Now for the PHP, the learning curve is much more easier and there are so many things available on like, like GoDaddy, HostGator, Bluehost and probably hundreds of such websites which provide hosting there. Now, definitely hosting in the PHP is much more cheaper as compared to Node.js and putting up your project online for Node.js requires a little bit of extra skill sets. You need to have a little bit knowledge about Git, should be comfortable of working with command lines, and then it's just a breeze. But again, not everybody is comfortable working with the command line. So in this case, I would like to give that how easy it is to move your project from localhost to actually production is with the PHP because a lot of people don't even know how to host a PH, how to host a Node.js project, whether to use Heroku or AWS. Once when you understand, once you do it, it's super easy. But again, since a lot of people are beginner, I would give that moving a, moving a project from localhost to production is gonna go on the PHP side. A lot of people I know are actually entrepreneurs or want to design a product that's gonna be used thousand by thousands of people and they want to launch their company. The one of the main deciding factor is gonna be actual cost. So what is actual cost? Actual cost means how much is going to take to put your project onto online, how much resource is going to be consumed, how much monthly bill is it going to generate, as well as how much costly it is to hire a talent. In this case, I would say that PHP is much more on the cheaper side. Yes, it's kind of a bad news for developers as I say that PHP developers are being paid less. Sidebar, a very quick sidebar here. 
I'm not saying that always PHP developers are being paid less. I would easily pay a PHP developer higher if he's having like five or 10 years of experience. On the other side, I have another developer who is having just one year or 1.5 years of experience in Node.js. That PHP developer is definitely far more advanced and can pick up anything at all. So it's not a comparison between two people. But let's just say uh, it's an honest fact here that PHP developers are paid a little bit less compared to the Node.js. For an actual cost of designing a project, if you are moving on to the Node.js stack, you have to pay a higher salary to your developers who are skilled and good enough in Node.js. But on the other side, uh, the cost actually increases a little bit more if you move your project to production as well, because these DigitalOcean, AWS, Heroku, all of these are not cheap at all. So if I have to think from the business side, I would easily give the star to PHP because it's much more cheaper. But since a lot of people who are watching this video are students, I would give the Node.js a bigger star because you're gonna get amazing salary and working on these Heroku AWS is more over advanced stack, so you're gonna learn more. So star goes to Node.js. Last but not the least, which is going to decide a lot about picking up which stack is going to be the trend. With the trend, without a doubt, I can give the star to Node.js quite easily. Whether whatever the website you look up for deciding the trends, whether that's Stack Overflow stacks or maybe any other stacks, uh, it's pretty easy that the rise of the MongoDB can be seen pretty easily. A lot of websites, a lot of startups, a lot of beginners, and even the rock solid companies are moving over the Node.js architecture because it is so much easier for them to manage. And of course, Node.js is rising because of the JavaScript as well. I do agree there are a lot of people who hate JavaScript absolutely, but we cannot deny the fact that JavaScript is dominating in the market right now with so many frameworks, so many developers, it's just rocking the market. So easily for the trend thing, my star is gonna go to Node.js. So on the conclusion side, if you want to spend your time in learning Node.js, it's a good idea. In fact, I can openly recommend Node.js to every beginner that if you're starting right now, Node.js is an amazing stack. You should definitely try that out. In case you're interested in learning Node.js, I do have a course on that, which includes Node.js from absolutely scratch. And we have a lot of projects, even API development in Node.js. So you can learn a lot with that, with tons of projects included, certification also. Check out the link in the description section and I hope you're gonna enjoy that course too. So that's it for this video. We are at the end section of the video. That means hit that like button, subscribe, share this video to all of your friends and make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. I'm gonna do all of that and I think I have already done that. So that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one. Ah, just one more thing. If you want me to make more such comparison video, notify me in the comment section. I read all of them and I would love to make more such comparison video. So what next you would like to see in this comparison videos? Wanna move my feet?